Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the off-grid project. I'm not at the project right now. Um, in my bedroom at home. Um, this is the back of one of my 100 watt panel solar panels. Um, and I just wanted to show you a little trick for uh, making things easier to identify. Um, they marked the positive and the negative wire with these little white pieces of paper. I prefer marking the positive connections with red electrical tape. So I'm going to do that now for you guys. I'll just set the camera down here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And the positive is right here. And what I like to do is actually I'll unscrew one of these. Twist tie, wire tie here. Let's see. That's enough. And I'll just wrap this around a couple times. I am going to be using these connectors and I'll show you that in a minute. So this is a good identifier instead of the white pieces of paper. So if you follow, oh, let me zoom out for a minute. Okay, so if you follow positive, all the way to a nice clear red positive connection. So I liked I uh, labeled all my positive connections already on most of the wiring, and these this is the actual connector that plugs in to the back of the solar panel. It's a plug and play easy connection. I'll show you guys right now. Let me just put this down. So, oops, I don't know if you can see it, <laughs> kind of a tight fit, let's see if we got it. So the positive goes, the positive is a male connection and it goes into the female connection and then down here it's all labeled in the oh I got two rolls here that's why it's all crazy but <laughs> spaghetti sometimes with wiring guys um, yeah so that labels the positive and the negative so the, I have my negative here I leave plain black as is and then you have your positive connection right here labeled with the red electrical tape just makes it easier for service and um, anything you're gonna do you don't want to ever cross these two at all or you'll have a short so that's a no-no also wanted to show you the connectors here this is and I and they're labeled in Ziploc bags so What they do is, these are female connectors. This one's hooked into that one, but mm, that's not how they go. Let me pull that apart for a second. Just give me a second here, guys. I was just in the bag like that. Okay, show you this again. So you got two female connectors that combine into another into a one wire. So that means you can join two of these solar panels into with this connector and then plug it into um, that joint and that runs your wire back to the charge controller. Um, I'll do that now just to show you guys. So on the sides of this thing, you can just put a little pressure in and it should pull this out pretty easy, like so. They're in there pretty tight, so. 
So if I plug this into here, I don't have another solar panel to hook in right now. It's in the, it's underneath this one actually in the box. But you get the idea. That one plugs into there, and the cord from the positive from another solar panel plugs into there, and then you plug this one back in, and then that has 200 watts running down back to your charge controller. Makes it a little bit easier for connections. It eliminates an extra wire. So in my setup, when I'm going to have four of these hooked up, I'm going to use two of these connectors that join them. So that way I only have two, two positive wires running back. And then I'll have, they have the same thing for the negative, they have the same uh, different setup than this, but same combiner. And then I'll have two wires coming running back from the negative. Um, so I'll have two from two panels, two positives, or no, never mind. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'll have two watt two positives coming back from four panels because of these combiners and two negatives coming back from uh, the two ne uh, the negative combiner so I'll show you guys that later when I actually hook everything up but uh, that gives you a little idea of what's going on um, I'm just uh, trying to get over Christmas here guys get some more money coming in um, normally in the new year we pick work back up again. It's kind of a slow time. Everybody's spending money on Christmas gifts. But for now, I can show you this stuff at home. Um, also, um, I will be testing in a later video my setup here. I have my new 32-inch LED um, TV. Uh, it's direct LED, 1080p. All the good stuff. I have the Monster... Uh, home theater surge bar that I will be plugging into my inverters which are right here because this surge bar is designed to filter incoming um, the incoming sine waves of the electricity filter it to make it more suitable for electronics so if you guys want to buy cheap inverters like this you can get away with it as long as you use a monster power uh, surge bar I know these are expensive but they will help protect any surges they filter the electricity as it comes in for all your electronics so it doesn't hurt them because I have my TV external hard drive boxy box and then I'll test that out later and show you guys how many watts that uses up. Um, and normally what I do with the external hard drive is I download YouTube videos for later. And then I just watch them on here. So that's a pretty good setup. Uh, also I went to, uh, out to Home Depot and was looking at countertop, kitchen countertops. And since... Um, my trailer is mostly white. I wanted to go with maybe a black color, black and white type of style. So tell me what you guys think of that. Black Noir Sparkle Finish as a kitchen countertop. I don't know. It's uh, it's it's the faux countertop. It's not like a granite or a stone. It's like, uh, what do they call it? Formica. Yeah, Formica is like a, a faux actual stone countertop um, I was also there looking for if you remember from my la uh, uh, last uh, I think it was two videos ago my connecting the IBC totes um, I was looking for basically at Home Depot today instead of a straight coupler I wanted a 90 so that way it's not sticking straight out 
in front of the IBC totes it kind of is off off uh, off to the side a bit but we'll figure something out later it's not a big panic on that yet so um that's a little update for now guys just showing you some of the solar stuff going on getting it all prepared getting every all the wires uh taped so i know which one's positive which one's negative and uh yeah the project's coming along uh that's it for now talk to you later